welcome to a day in my life where I'm gonna organize my house, clean it and chat a lot about everything that comes to my mind. But firstly, I know you probably don't know me, so I'm Tatevik. I live in Amsterdam. It's been three years I'm here and I've been going through a lot of changes as I get more mature in this country. But basically, uh, I was inspired by Chelsea, a YouTube creator who is showing like her life in New York City and I was thinking that would be nice to actually vlog mine as well, so why not? <laughs> so that's why I'm here. Please go check Chelsea out because she's one of my favorite YouTubers and she inspired me to start doing a bit more on this. Uh, but I'll see how this goes. I hope I'll truly enjoy it and I, I hope I will have time to create more content for you. So thank you very much for being here for my first daily vlog. So let's jump into the video and see how I organize and chat about a lot of things in my life. Well, a bit about me. I'm in my mid-20s. I work in an IT consulting company and it's been three years since I've lived in the Netherlands. Originally, I'm from Armenia. My life at this stage is all about work, travel, finding hobbies and my way through life. I usually try to be an organized person because a clean and organized house makes my brain function easier. However, I had a very busy week traveling to my hometown, then to London for a business trip. That's why today is a massive clinic day. As you can see, my house is so dirty. Uh, I live in a small one bedroom apartment. Good news is it's less to clean. Bad news is it's less space to put stuff. Do we want a room tour? Please shout in the comments. I would be excited to do so. As you can see, I try to be quite minimalistic on the design and furniture. I'm quite nervous because this is the first time I'm posting a video showing myself in my house. You need to bear with me, okay, until this gets more comfortable. I got most of my furniture from Ikea. When I moved here three years ago, there was only the kitchen and the bathroom furnished. And to be honest, I got everything in black and white at that moment. I started to add some colors only one year after that. Uh, I don't know why that happened, but I think it was some type of a depressing moment in my life. Even though I always wanted to move to Europe, have a good job here, I was going through accepting that my life has changed, that I'm not the kid anymore in the house, that I left the country I was born in, and it was a bit of a tough moment. I think I was going through a lot in my brain as well. Hopefully it all passed. Now I feel much better about the decisions I made at that moment. But seriously, I always think that life is a sequence of choices. If you are sad at this moment and you do not do something about it, you can really, really choose to change that moment and change yourself as well. I made choices back then and if I'm not happy now with that choices, I should probably choose to do something else right now at this moment, at the present, so that in the future it will be much easier for me. How do all of you like feel about the choices you made? Let me know in the comments, I'm really interested. Are you going through something? Do you think it's a consequence of your choices? Are you actively like trying to change it? I think that's a very interesting topic. This was a lot. I think at this point, I'm done with my uh, living room and my kitchen. I still need to like vacuum clean this because uh, the space hasn't been vacuum cleaned for two months already, I think. Because I was traveling and then I didn't have enough mood to do it. I need to do it, I think, today. But this is pretty clean already. Not the floor. <laughs> Definitely not the floor. Welcome to my bedroom. So, uh, fun fact about my clothes. I have only that rack over there for my clothing. I'm trying not to over consume and over buy. So I basically probably have like eight outfits for every season. I don't have any other place for it. So I do have a couple of like uh, drawers that I can use as well, but I usually do the rack. So I'm trying to limit my space and not to buy and waste money and also be good for the planet. So. I usually buy when I really, really really like something and when I think that I really don't have this and I really need this and I'm loving it so I can't live without it, that's where uh, I buy a new uh, something at the store. <laughs> this is so funny. As a kid our house had everything, big furniture, a lot of stuff around. I remember my wardrobe having a lot of clothes. To be honest, most of it I really didn't like when I was a kid and I was just opening my wardrobe to find that one thing I would wear every day. And I remember all of the other clothes just staring at me like, are you not gonna choose us? 
today again. <laughs> so it's funny how I have a, like a very small space right now for the clothes. And I was always this person who would wear one thing and not 10. I like to have less to choose from every morning. I like to be able not to use a single brain cell to decide what am I going to wear today, especially in the mornings. For the life of me, I do not function in the mornings in the same way as I function during the day. I'm usually very sleepy in the mornings. Anyway, I'm a very neutral wearing person, as you can see from my wardrobe, but I plan on changing it because I think it, it's getting a bit boring. The neutral wardrobe probably happened when I started to decorate my house all white, black and white. I was thinking, okay, elegant, but no, I think it's a bit boring now. But I guess for some people it's still elegant, it's still nice. But I think I want a, more colors in my life. So we'll see how that goes. I like everything about my house at the moment. I'm finally in the place that feels like a legit home to me and I'm happy I live here. You know, sometimes it gets sad and depressing, especially in winters, but I think this is how life is and it's always ups and downs. I hope all of you are doing great in life and even if you do not, I hope you are courageous enough to keep on going through hell until it all gets better. I believe there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. When the winter knocks around the corner, I start waiting for the month of July, the true spring and summer time in the Netherlands. We are in a very deep autumn here. The temperature in the mornings is about 10 degrees Celsius. I usually find myself scared to go outside when it's cold or raining. But the moment I step out, I feel like it's fine and bearable. How do you all feel about the deep autumn situation in your country? Do you find it hard to enjoy? Please let me know in the comments below. One of my favorite things to do is cooking. I like to experiment, but also cook something I'm really good at. I like all the forms of food. I really tell my friends, like, I like everything smaller than plates, softer than rocks. <laughs> However, I've been on a no sugar diet for a year already. Is this interesting for you? I can talk about my experience if it is, let me know. But life has changed so much after that turnover. There are pros and cons, of course. Really, really thankful to the food industry that produces non sugar snacks and even desserts these days. Sadly, I can't say the same about cafes and restaurants. It's usually very hard to get a non sugar or even low sugar dessert. I still keep on asking every time so that they will know there's a market on that. <laughs> it's fascinating how rapidly the economy moves on these things. The rise of gluten-free options, vegan food, low sodium and etc. And as you can see, here I'm enjoying my food with my favorite TV series of all time, Sex and the City. I just enjoy to see how like the friendship works in there, how this like four girls like really talk to each other and how how they discuss everything. I love to see girls' friendships. That was all. Thank you very much. I'm really happy you were here. I hope you enjoyed this. Please let me know in the comments. Please go like this video as well as subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. I hope I'll be posting even more. And thank you for just being here. Enjoy your day to the fullest. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.